Ray Sorensen has painted a 60-ton granite boulder alongside an Iowa highway to honor the sacrifices that servicemen and women make to keep our country safe. Every Memorial Day, Ray Bubba Sorensen II has painted different scenes on this rock to pay tribute to the U.S. servicemen and women. Americans have a lot of different ways of showing their love of the country. Some join the military, others serve their community. Our next guest showed his patriotism by transforming a once defaced rock and he's turned it into a national tourist attraction. Over the years, Bubba has used his talent to thank every branch of the military and numerous individuals. He's also memorialized countless battles and wars from our country's past. Today, that mural, now known as the Freedom Rock, is a national attraction drawing thousands of visitors every year. For me, the Freedom Rock is a labor of love. Every May, I come out and paint the rock over to thank our veterans and to uh, make people think about those past and those present that have laid down their lives for our country. My name's Ray Sorensen. Everybody calls me Bubba. Um, I'm a mural artist. I've uh, been painting murals uh, since the very first Freedom Rock. In 1999, I started the Freedom Rock by painting a simple thank you to our veterans. And I put the flag raising at Iwo Jima. And thank you veterans for our freedom. And after that, I got such a huge response from our local vets that I decided to repaint it every May. While the Freedom Rock is my thank you to veterans and a volunteer effort, the Freedom Rock Tour is a funded project that takes the message of the Freedom Rock thanking our veterans and then coupling that with Iowa tourism, trying to put a Freedom Rock in every single county in Iowa. So we're here, this is the 36th Freedom Rock on the Freedom Rock Tour. We're in the Cedar Falls, Waterloo area and uh, just kind of getting started, getting set up, and uh, we're gonna go to town on the Black Hawk County Freedom Rock. It's just a wonderful, wonderful way to honor our veterans. And I, I'm just so very proud. And I plan on following uh, the other t rocks that he has done, going to seeing those and taking pictures, and, and I hope that I know the story about each rock. So the most recognizable piece on uh, this Freedom Rock is going to be the Sullivan Brothers. And for those who don't know that story, um, it's five brothers all lost at sea uh, serving in the Navy and they were all on the same ship. Uh, they went down on the USS Juno. Being that that happened in World War II, I think that some of these memories are fading and some of those stories are, are, are lost and uh, not remembered and so I feel like it's very important to illustrate and kind of bring back to life uh, you know what, what happened in the Great War. My name is Taylor Morris and I'm a resident here in Cedar Falls, Iowa and graduated high school in 2007 and immediately after went into the Navy. I ended up in a program called Explosive Ordnance Disposal, or EOD. We were bomb technicians for the Navy. So every branch has them, but the Navy trained us in two-man teams to embed with other various units and groups in Afghanistan. So May 3rd, 2012, we were just on a standard uh, combat reconnaissance patrol. We were starting to see all the signs and symptoms of what meant we were about to get attacked, and this was nothing uncommon. It was pretty much every time we went out, we would uh, encounter this type of thing. And so we were planning our counterattack, and to start that, we were gonna strong point out of a nearby building. In an effort to take over the building, to start that off, I was clearing my way up to the building and I stepped on an IED, which is an improvised explosive device, something that our detectors weren't quite able to pick up on yet. So unfortunately, that's just how uh, those new types of things get discovered. Uh, so I lost parts of all four limbs and I was medevac to Kandahar Airfield and did my first initial rounds of surgeries and clean outs there. A day later, I was medevac to Germany for more surgeries, more cleanouts, and the day after that, 
I was medevac to the United States where I did my recovery at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland. It's great to see the excitement and, and just, you know, people coming out and understanding what this, the Freedom Rock represents and what it's about. And, but, one, you know, this is one of those days where, you know, you start to miss, you miss home, you know, even with all the socialization and you're, you get to visit with everybody and so it's, it's, it's weird, it's, you're, you're not alone, but you kind of are, are lonely and, and you miss home and you're kind of homesick and that's, yeah, that's one of these days. I'm excited to be going home. Uh, you know, tomorrow's my daughter's birthday. We're kind of getting pumped to throw a little party for her. And, uh, I've been gone for so long. It'll be nice to be home for a few days and just unwind and, uh, kind of get ready for the uh, next Freedom Rock. to paint the Freedom Rock each and every year. I've made it my life's work to take that thank you statewide and nationwide in honor of our military men and women past and present.